Hey, what's good people, it's VDoes Tech doing a quick charge test between the Z Flip 3 and the Z Flip 4. Now the Z Flip 3 has a 3300 milliamp battery with 15 watts fast charging. The Z Flip 4 has a 3700 milliamp battery with 25 watts fast charging. We're gonna do a quick charge test. We are gonna load up an hour 45 up on the timer. Now to conduct these charge tests, huge shout out to AOHI for sending out their 40 watt MAG-Q PD charger. Now what's dope about these chargers are they have two type C ports at the bottom so you can charge up two devices. And then look, it folds up so it makes travel really easy and convenient. And plus it's nice and small, just like the Z Flip 3. If you're interested, the links will be down in the descriptions. So we will set an hour 45 timer both of the Z Flip 3 and the Z Flip 4 is on 1%, and we will see where we end up at. So we will plug up the Z Flip 3 first. There it goes. You can see 1%. We will charge up the Z Flip 4. There you go, 1%. Let's go ahead and hit start on the timer. All right, the timer is counting down, and we will be back in 15 minutes to check on it first. Now the Z Flip 3 you can see is topping out at 15 watts. Meanwhile the Z Flip 4 it's hit above 20 watts so we'll see what the results is. The Z Flip 3 is saying an hour 30 until full charge. The Z Flip 4 is saying an hour 21 till full charge. So the Z Flip 4 remember it has a bigger battery it has 400 extra milliamps and it's supposed to finish seven minutes faster then the, th uh, what is it, the 400 milliamp smaller Z Flip 3. We'll see if those results hold up. Let's go. All right, so 15 minutes in, the Z Flip 3 is at 23% with an hour 14 to go. And the Z Flip 4 is at 28% with an hour 3 to go. Not bad overall. All right, so a little more than 30 minutes, the Z Flip 3 is at 42% with an hour left to charge. Meanwhile, the Z Flip 4 is at 51% with 49 minutes to charge. You can see it's hitting between 17 and 18 watts. The Z Flip 3 is over here hitting between 9 and 11 watts, I think I last saw. Really good so far. I mean, we're going to come back in 30 minutes and see where we're at. So we'll be back in 30 minutes and see where the two phones are at. This is kind of a lot closer than I thought it would be. All right, so we are one hour in with the one hour charge from one to 79% with 15 watt fast charging on the Z Flip 3 with 33 minutes left to go. And then from one to 88% in an hour with 20 minutes to go with 25 watt fast charging. So on paper, the... Z Flip 4 should be finishing faster, but we'll see. I've seen some weird things happen with these charge tests, which is why I decided to record this one. Usually, this is what I do in my free time. I'm nerdy like that. I like doing charge tests. I decided to record this one to see the actual results. So in 20 minutes, the Z Flip 4 should be get done. And in 32 minutes, the Z Flip 3 should be done. So we'll see And 30 minutes what the results is you know what no i'll check back in 15 minutes and see what the results are so 19 minutes till full here on the z flip 4 32 minutes till full on the z flip 3 let's see what happens all right so with 21 minutes and 14 seconds left the z flip 4 has hit a hundred percent you can see we have our winner here the 3700 milliamp battery with the 25 watts fast charging meanwhile the z flip 3 with the 3300 milliamp battery and the 15 watt fast charging still has another eight minutes let's let it finish charging and see where it ends at all right and after that the z flip 3 is done charging out of an hour 45 the timer concluded at 13 minutes and 39 seconds obviously the z flip 4 won the z flip 3 came in second aka last place neither is exactly blazing speed not especially when we have all of these phones that can charge in 30 minutes or 45 minutes and you know we're sitting past an hour and a half here 
But yeah, this is the type of charge speeds you can expect to get from these two devices. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. It's VDOS Tech. I'll catch you on the next one. Later.